Bears have been a cuddly feature in many warm and fuzzy memories, from Winnie the Pooh to The Jungle Book, teddy bears, and even honey jars. We love to see bears as these snuggly creatures, but in reality, that's not necessarily the case. Hello, I'm Cam from the IT department here at Greg Distributors. Today, we are going to talk about how to keep Yogi Bear away from your picnic basket with the help of UDAP Bear Spray. Hey, no. UDAP was established in 1994 after its president, Mark Matheny, survived being mauled by a bear while on a hunting trip with his close friend. Through playing dead and utilizing a small can of pepper spray designed for fending off human aggressors, the two were able to escape the jaws of a mother bear. After this near-death experience, Mark designed his own stronger pepper spray to better deter bears. So what exactly is bear spray? Well, that's easy. Bear spray is an aerosol that shoots bursts of atomized capsaicin. The spray causes the membrane of the eyes, nose, and lungs of a bear to swell. This results in nearly total, yet temporary, loss of sight and severe restriction to breathing. To be effective, bear spray has to hit the eyes and nose of the bear. Most times, bears that are sprayed leave the area, allowing you time to retreat. According to a study done in Alaska, using bear spray instead of firearms results in a lesser risk of injury to yourself, the bear, and to those around you. That study also found that 98% of those who used bear spray were uninjured by the bear. The remaining 2% received only minor injuries that required no hospitalization. So, we know for a fact that bear spray will keep you safe. When shopping for a bear spray, there are a few things to keep in mind. First off, be sure that the canister is labeled for deterring bear attacks. Then you'll want to double check the expiry date to ensure there's plenty of life left in the canister. Another tip is to look for bear sprays that have a holster for ease of use. The UDAP bear deterrent spray is available with or without the hip holster. You can also purchase the holster separately here at Greg Distributors. Finally, consider how the bear deterrent sprays. Some are specified to a particular range or duration, so you'll need to figure out what works best for you. Before we get more into how to use bear spray, let's take a look at some of the specs UDAP's deterrent has to offer. UDAP's Bear Deterrent Spray dispenses in a powerful shotgun blast pattern that appears as a highly visible fog. This fog lingers in the air for longer, which means that the bear has a higher chance of inhaling the spray. The canister also has a glow-in-the-dark safety pin that is attached with a tether, so no matter what time of day, you'll be ready to spray. Finally, this Bear Deterrent features a 0.75% capsaicin rating. Capsaicinoids are a class of compounds found in chili peppers, which is what produces the heat in hot peppers. But how hot is capsaicin really? Well, on the Scoville heat scale for chili peppers, bell peppers have a rating of zero Scoville heat units, or SHU. The average jalapeno will have a rating of up to 8,000 SHU. A ghost pepper has a rating of up to 1 million SHU. The famous Carolina Reaper is around 1.5 million SHU, but pure capsaicin comes in at 15 to 16 million SHU. Whew, that can packs a lot of heat. No wonder only a small percentage is used. Typically, bears are wary of people and will often leave if they know that you are in the area. Hence the reason bear bells are common hiking equipment. However, if you surprise a bear while out on a trail, or if a bear sees you and continues to approach, prepare to deter it with your bear spray. Now to use UDAP's bear deterrent spray in the event of a bear attack, just follow these steps. First, do not run. Instead, stand your ground, and if you're in a group, bring everyone together. Next, prepare to use your bear spray by removing the safety clip. Then, 
if possible, attempt to leave the area slowly by backtracking to where you came in. However, do not turn your back to the bear. If the bear continues to approach, hold the canister firmly and aim low and in front of the bear so the animal runs into the spray. When the bear is four meters away, fire one to two second blasts in continuous succession, aiming just below the head or into the nose and mouth of the bear until the bear leaves. Be prepared to move out of the bear's way. When the attack is interrupted, retreat, but do not run, and do not turn your back on the bear or try to chase the bear. It's best to exit the same direction you came in, but depending on where the bear ran, you may have to change your route. Using bear spray safely is more than just knowing how to point and shoot. When handling bear spray, take into consideration that it is explosive and should be transported away from passengers. If you're out on an ATV with bear spray, place it in a container that can be securely stored and sealed. When the deterrent is no longer in use or needed, ensure the safety is secured in place and will not fall out. If you're looking to familiarize yourself with using bear spray, UDAP also offers an inert version so that you may practice before hitting the trails. Now accidents with bear spray can happen and the wind can push the spray right back in your direction. So along with knowing how to use bear deterrent, you should also know some bear spray specific first aid. First things first, anyone who's been accidentally sprayed should be removed from the contaminated area to fresh air as quickly and as safely as possible. Next, flush any exposed skin with cold water and soap, then pat dry with a towel. Mild or non-oil-based soaps, such as baby soaps, are recommended. Make sure not to rub any exposed areas as this can cause further irritation. To flush spray out of your eyes, first remove contact lenses if applicable, then place your head under water and open your eyes every few seconds. Do not rub your eyes. If the effects of the spray do not dissipate in 30 to 45 minutes, seek more serious medical attention. Finally, bear spray should not be applied as a preventative measure to tents or clothing. Not only will it make you react, but it is still a plant-based odor, so there are reports of bears coming from far away to investigate the smell. If you accidentally spray an object, you can use white vinegar to clean it up. So now we know how to keep Yogi Bear from pawing at our picnic basket. Hopefully this video wasn't too overbearing, but if you have any questions about UDAP bear spray, be sure to give us a call or drop us a comment down below. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Or you can check out our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Cam. Now get out there and enjoy our great Canadian wilderness safely.